Registered Phenomena Code 510 Object Class Beta Red Hazard Types Extraterrestrial Hazard Microscopic Hazard Organic Hazard Transmutation Hazard Biohazard Gravitational Hazard Mind Regression Hazard Containment Protocols RPC-510 is to be isolated in a 6 m x 6 m room, with a temperature of 2.73 Kelvin maintained. RPC-510 itself is to be contained within a petri dish in the center of this room at all times. All testing of RPC-510 should be conducted with heavy-grade biohazard protection suits. Individuals with cuts or similar recent injuries are not permitted to take part in tests with the exception of test subjects. Instances of RPC-510-A are to be contained separately from one another in 5m by 5m rooms. Though RPC-510-A instances have not exhibited any infectivity, biohazard suits are still to be worn as a precaution. Testing requirements are similar. Any lifeforms detected living on a RPC-510-A instance should be monitored for potential hazards. Description: RPC-510 is a virus which initially targets blood cells to begin reproduction. RPC-510 will infect its host by exposure to the host's bloodstream. For several days, RPC-510's behavior is fairly standard. It will hijack red blood cells for the purposes of reproduction. This behavior does not appear to negatively affect the cells. Upon reaching a sufficient population, RPC-510 will begin accessing other cells. This is when RPC-510 the knowledge properties manifest. RPC-510 will attempt to manipulate genetic code and structure of the cells. While this restructuring would under normal circumstances cause little change, RPC-510 is able to cause more drastic effects, which occur in several stages. Stage 1. The host will begin to experience reduced gravity. At first, this is identified by lower weight and higher jumps. However, it becomes much more noticeable shortly after these initial symptoms are observed. This stage ends with the host's total loss of gravity relative to the Earth. The victim will appear to float in place, though in actuality the victim, now designated RPC-510-A, has begun to orbit the Sun. It is likely that RPC-510-A would orbit any celestial body that is not a planet or smaller, though current limitations make testing outside the solar system impossible. So as of now, the Sun will be used as the point of reference. Stage 2 RPC-510 infects the eyes and nervous system, after which it begins to dissolve them. The brain appears to be excluded from this. Teeth also appear to be dissolved. Skin color begins to fade to a dull gray. During this stage, the host will expire, upon which the head will snap to look directly upwards relative to the rest of the body, which will begin the third stage. Stage 3 The head will begin to open at the top of the neck. This initially forms a flower-like shape, however quickly changes to a dome-like shape. RPC-510 infects the bone, largely converting it into various minerals and rocks. These new bones will begin to expand, penetrating the skin in several areas. These also account for the expansion of the dome head, which continues to expand until meeting at the other side of the host's body, forming a rough stone sphere. Bone expansion continues until the entirety of this sphere is filled. Stage 4 RPC-510 infects the heart, which begins to pump a substance akin to magma, rather than blood. At this point, the remaining natural parts of the body have not been changed by RPC-510, and as such, are still entirely vulnerable to the magma, causing them to be destroyed. Lava emerges from the former eyes and mouth of the host, which eventually hardens and covers these features. The brain remains intact having been modified whilst the rest of the nervous system was dissolved. Stage 5 The brain, which had been severely degenerated by this point, 
begins to move through the RPC-510A instance's crust, despite the mineral barrier. It will move to the former location of the heart, which has become a cavity of magma. The brain settles in this location before hardening into a highly dense sphere, and begins to rotate. The rest of the RPC-510A instance will also begin to rotate in the opposite direction. At this point, all instances of RPC-510 have expired, ending the infection. Instances of RPC-510-A resemble miniature planetoids, which ignore the Earth's gravity through unknown methods. RPC-510-A additionally ignores the gravity of other celestial bodies with the exception of the Sun. As all known RPC-510-A instances are currently located on Earth, the rotation around the Sun is essentially equal to that of the Earth, which causes RPC-510-A instances to appear to float. RPC-510-A instances also exhibit an abnormally high gravitational pull for an object of their mass and possess their own magnetic field. Instances of RPC-510-A additionally possesses their own atmosphere. Instances possess movement akin to tectonic plate movement on Earth. One instance possesses its own biosphere. This instance has been designated RPC-510-A-Alpha. Studies of the cores of RPC-510-A instances reveal no brainwaves despite the object's origin. Document 510-A The following is a list of notable RPC-510-A instances. RPC-510-A-1 Description Patient Zero Initially discovered after it collided with Earth in Russia See Addendum 510-B Resulting investigation of the collision resulted in two infections. Only known instance of an RPC-510-A instance carry an RPC-510. RPC-510-A-4 Description First RPC-510-A instance to develop an atmosphere. Has weather patterns similar to that of Earth's. RPC-510-A-9 Description High volcanic and tectonic activity. Former nodes remained intact. This structure developed into a volcano, which erupts occasionally. RPC-510-A-16 Description Original test subject was instructed to hold a teapot prior to being infected. Resulting RPC-510-A instance utilized the teapot as a moon. Attempts to introduce similar objects as moons post-transformation have failed. RPC-510-A-25 First RPC-510-A instance to form an ocean. RPC-510-A-33 Description Also known as RPC-510-A-Alpha First RPC-510-A instance to form a biosphere, as well as an atmosphere and ocean. See Document 510-C for further details. RPC-510-A-46 Description Several non-anomalous microscopic life forms were released onto the planet. All expired with three days of introduction. Addendum 510-B RPC-510 was recovered after RPC-510-A-1 entered the Earth's atmosphere and made contact in Russia. The Authority was prompted to investigate after two individuals were reported to be defying gravity. Authority investigation revealed RPC-510, RPC-510-A-1 and the two individuals who would later become RPC-510-A-2 and RPC-510-A-3. All of these were taken into Authority custody after amnestics were administered if necessary. The origins of RPC-510-A-1 are unknown, as RPC-510-A-1 shows no notable differences from other RPC-510-A instances. It is likely that the original host was human. However, this raises more questions than answers, as how a human got to a location where RPC-510 could infect them, or where RPC-510 itself originated from, is also unknown. Document 510-C The following is a brief summary 
of the biosphere present on RPC-510-A Alpha. Life on RPC-510-A Alpha, like on Earth, originated in the oceans. These were single-cellular organisms, though on the scale of RPC-510-A Alpha, they were roughly the scale of an elephant in relation to the Earth. They were photosynthetic, though unlike plants on Earth, the equivalent of chloroplasts were red in coloration a feature that would persist on all photosynthetic organisms that would arise in the future. Eventually, an event akin to the Cambrian explosion occurred, leaving many multicellular organisms that either fed upon the photosynthetic organisms or on each other. All these species have since evolved. Eventually, life moved to land, red plants being among them. Eventually, organisms that could be seen alone with the naked eye emerged. Though organisms of this size, if scaled to the Earth's size, would be much larger than any non-anomalous organisms living today. These were herbivorous organisms, which resembled no life currently known on Earth. Also notable is a species of microscopic organisms which appeared to have formed societies. They seemed to possess technology equal to that of what humans possessed in the 5th century BC. Study of this civilization has yielded little results, as the scriptures produced by them are both microscopic and written in an unknown language. However, imagery indicates the presence of a religion centered around gods observing from the skies. These gods were likely influenced by the presence of authority staff. However, this cannot be adequately confirmed. All life in RPC-510-A Alpha appears to possess altered human DNA likely owing to the nature of RPC-510-A instances. DNA also includes fragments of RPC-510 DNA. These influences likely influence the convergent evolution of self-structured life, in spite of the vastly differing conditions. Further research into the relations of RPC-510-A-alpha life and human influences is ongoing.